five o'clock. February one, the eighth. Everybody. One day is done of this week. It one is. day down. And we've got a very special guest today. Today, very talented young woman called Rachel Levy. Yep, you may we have seen her uh, on TV. Yeah, TLC's Broadway at the White House. Um, but we're going to get to her. But right now we have some news. news. So news just in that Sandy Duncan, who is uh, supposed to, was supposed to be starting in Funny Neverland on February the 9th, that's been pushed back to February the 12th. Oh, so Beth, Beth said she saw on Sunday, she went to take her son yeah, to see it, and Carly Carmelo final did her show. final show, and there was a lot of crying like in the scenes. Fun. It's always fun to see. Do you guys ever see like a final performance? I love seeing final performances of shows in general. But we've been in like an actor, even when the show's going on. So I, anyway, I just yeah. thought, I just thought of that because a... Sandy Duncan will be going on. Do we know when yet? Uh, the twelfth. Okay, which is Friday. 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 Uh, meanwhile, Alan Mingo Jr., who was on Broadway in the original cast of Little Mermaid, he played Sebastian. He's been playing Lola in Kinky Boots in Toronto. He's going to be taking over for Wayne Brady here in New York City. Which answers a big question. We were wondering we who's were. going to be the next Lola. Because we knew Wayne Brady was going because he'd already announced his This date. is Lola number four. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Lola number four. It is. Billy only counts once, even though he did it twice. You saw him in Toronto. How was he? Was well, he we, have a, we have an expert witness on good? Periscope right now. Uh, hi, hi Alaska. Alaska. Hello from Alaska. So good. So good. So good. Three, okay, he's good. And three exclamation good. points. So very good. The reviews are in for Alan Mingo Jr. and Kinky so, Boots. We're looking forward to seeing him. Can't wait. Newest Broadway star. Me? Hi Ben Platt, is that really you, is that or did ben someone steal no, your? Did somebody like steal ben. your phone? It, does, it really does look like Ben. We were just talking about that you today. It's definitely Ben's address. Hi Ben. Dear Evan Hansen, everyone, watching. we can't wait. We can't wait for that. We cannot wait to see that. But lots of buzz. Thanks for watching. That. Thank you, Ben. I saw that you, you had your first Periscope this weekend. So welcome, welcome to this welcome world. Welcome to the world. Welcome. Ben. Uh, cats. Cats. <laughs> I don't know. You know about of cats. cats. I, I love cats. I cats. Uh, Cats may allegedly really be heading to the big screen now, directed by Tom Hooper, of course, did the, Le did the Le Mis movie. I can't figure out this movie. I love Cats, but I can't quite figure out the movie. I read a movie script for Cats, I'm trying to think if I'm out of turn by saying this or not, a long time ago, which was written by Tom Stoppard. Oh, I remember. A very famous playwright yeah. who also, who did Shakespeare in Love, right. uh, won, won the Oscar for that. Anyway. And this with the Tom Hopper, right? Is this the, is Tom Hooper. Hooper, sorry. Who did Les Mis. Yes. That's who now the yeah. rumors are might be attached um, to direct. The Tom Stoppard script was for animation. That's right. And it was very and this clever. Is, but this is not animation. This is, well, I don't think so, They're no. going to put them all in the big junkyard on actual trash, a bunch of models? You know, I don't know. Our, our, our story says something about sure. models. Well, point being, <laughs> I perhaps need to make a call to get some further information on this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jeffrey thinks those rumors are false. I don't okay, know. thanks, we'll find out. We, we may have some connections out. on that story. I might be able to find anything, out. <laughs> anything else. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sarah Charles Lewis is doing an exclusive number from Tuck Everlasting. She's adorable. I, I saw her in Miami. Did, did I tell you? this? Did I tell this? Yeah, when I, I was in Miami, did. did I tell the story about what she's most excited about Broadway? I don't know if no, I told no, you that. No, you didn't do this story. Somebody, asked, she's the young star of Tuck Everlasting with Carolee Carmelo and Andrew Keenan Bolger. And somebody asked her, What are you most excited about being on Broadway? And she said, Decorating my dressing room, which I thought was adorable. We love that. And walking around New York City. You know, speaking of Broadway dressing rooms, On Your Feet is a hit, everybody. Big hit. Led the grocers today. It's doing really, really well. It's made a million dollars every week since November, apart from the snowstorm week. Did everybody watch my Josh Cigar interview? Anyone watch it? There's a lot of um, talk <laughs> about butts. A lot of talk about butts. A lot of butt talk. A lot of talk about butts. Uh, moving on, perhaps, from butts. <laughs> perhaps. Uh, Aaron Tveit won the culture list this week. This was carpool <laughs> karaoke. That was such a good segue. <laughs> I was trying to keep it together and professional over here, Mr. Wontorek. Yeah, so we did the James James, James Corden, Corden is hosting the Tonys. Yes, We're so excited. So excited. Uh, anyway, so Aaron Tveit won the we, culture list. Yeah, we asked everyone who he should do, uh, what's it Carpool called? Carpool karaoke, karaoke with. with. And then actually, so Aaron Tveit won, of course. Yeah. And then uh, he uh, then released a new one. He did, which is uh, at the end of Odds and Ends today, which has just gone up. And um, who was it with? He was with Elton John. And wow. they did the most brilliant The Lion King one. It was absolutely The fashion brilliant. alone is, and is so Gordon good. And James Corden was dressed as a, like, it was just brilliant. You just go to Odds and Ends and have a look at that. Also in Odds and Ends, big concert for Boo and Schoenberg happening. They wrote Lemmes and Saigon. Oh, yeah. That's happening in early May. And they've tapped some amazing names. Jeremy Jordan, Patti LuPone, and Leah Salonga. It just goes on. Yeah. So it's they borrowed steal a ticket for the Carnegie Hall concert. Can't wait. Yep. Uh, Rose Byrne. Baby news. Baby Rose news. Rose Byrne and Robbie baby. Kinnawali. They've got a baby called Rocco. Rocco. It doesn't sound good with the British yeah, accent. Rocco. Rocco Cannavale. Rocco. Rocco. But she's got an Australian accent. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and the good wife, 
which has provided oh. much employment for Broadway actors over the years, uh, is going to be no more. People are so they? sad about this. They are. Not, I mean, you, like you mentioned this morning in the morning meeting, like so much employment for Broadway exactly. actors. So many Broadway actors. However, are. the showrunners, who are obviously big supporters of Broadway actors, they are moving on. They'd already announced they're moving on from uh, The Good Wife to do that new Aaron Tveit thing in in Washington DC. Brain oh, head. that's there. So oh. that's them. So I think Broadway so maybe actors they'll will still keep be using, because they using, like Broadway stars. But they're using Nikki and James, they're using Tony Shalhoub, we know they're using Aaron Tveit. Yeah. So they obviously love Broadway people, so that they're, they're still around. So hopefully that show, Brain Dead, will be a hit. It's got awesome. Aaron Tveit in it, you'll all watch. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. Awesome, that's all. That's so That's so good. It is when so is that good. moving out? We don't know when that TV show's I, starting. I, I, I want to say fall, but maybe that's... I'm not quite sure. And when's that Cats movie going to come out? No comment. I don't know if that's gonna. I, I'm curious. I don't know. I'm curious. What we do know is Cats will be on Broadway this summer, starting previews in July and opening in early August. And Jellico Ball is back. Jellico Ball and the White Cat. I always wanted to be the White Cat. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I did. I never wanted to be Grizabella. Some people want to be Grizabella, but I never wanted to be Grizabella. I wanted to be the White Cat. And the the gorgeous by, White Cat in the middle of the by, stage. It was played by Fanola Hughes. You didn't Hughes. want to be the old no, prostitute walking by. I didn't. And Fanola Hughes played it in London, and then she came over here and became a huge soap star. Look, fun fact. Fun fact. Have I heard anything about, about fun our, home closing? Uh, oh, no, it didn't do very well. We have not heard about fun home closing. It didn't closing. do very well in the grocers this week, but uh, it'll be fine. It'll 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 carry on. And you actually want to go to the Philippines to watch fun home because Leah Salonga is going to do that. Oh my that. god, it's going to be amazing. Aren't we all flying to the Philippines? Yes, we are. It's a, it's a it's a Broadway dot com trip. Maybe really. we should ask Leah Salonga to come and do an exclusive. I mean, she could do her big number on Live at Five before she. Yeah. Leaves. I'm going to see Allegiance. I'm going to see Allegiance again tomorrow. So I want to see it again before she leaves. So final week. Final week. Final week. week. That ends on. uh, Okay. Anyway, let's bring our our beautiful young guest star. Bye, Paul. Are you ready? Going to see show? Yes. Rachel. Is it Levy or Levy? Levy. 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 Applause. Applause. Wait. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Wrong button. Sorry, Rachel. Rachel Levy. Levy. Rachel Levy. Come in. Welcome to Live at Five. Now, everyone's going to recognize you from TLC. You did Broadway at the White House, didn't it? And you duetted with Kristen Chenoweth. Yes, I did. How did that come about? (laughs) Um, Well, first we got invited to go to the White House, and then... Is that your school? It's my performing arts center. Okay. And um, And what's that called? We ought to give them a shout out. Morristown. There we are. Love the hearts, they're all happening. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and then... She selects someone every time she sings for good in her concerts and everything, and I happened to be selected, and it was really awesome. <laughs> and then Michelle Obama gave you a standing ovation, didn't she? she did. That must have been incredible. It was like I felt like I was like dreaming and just like throwing up on the inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> and now you've got your own show at Fifty Four Below, and you've Dude. done one, didn't you, on February second? Yeah. Then you've got another one. When's that? Wednesday. On Wednesday. There's still tickets. There's still tickets to your show. So how did that go? You suddenly you're on TV. It was your TV debut, right? Yeah. And now suddenly you're doing Fifty Four Below, which is this venue which all these huge stars like Sierra Ooh, Bogus and crazy. Jeremy Jordan and it's like rubbing my feet against the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really cool. I'm doing a bunch of my favorite songs. And so, because well, what what sort of songs are you doing? Can you taste? I'm doing The Wizard and I. Okay. Um, my new philosophy, on my own, a bunch of classic theater songs. <laughs> so you're having an amazing time. I am. Time. So, have you been performing for forever? When did that start? When I was like six. Okay. Well, probably when I was like two and I would dress up and <laughs> yeah. dance on my couch, but I wasn't performing for anyone except my dolls. So. <laughs> and then at six, what happened? Did you start getting, do you, I was started, there a teacher or? Um, I started taking voice lessons and then I auditioned for a performing troupe that ended up being an off-Broadway show and I got in and that was my like start, I guess. <laughs> and how old were you when that happened? Eight. Okay, so basically all the rest of us are failures over here. That's <laughs> fine. So eight. Um, so we like making dreams come true here at Broadway.com. Um, Norm Lewis spent years telling us that he wanted to play Phantom on Broadway, and that came true for him. So come on, what are your dream roles? Well, put it out there. What, what would you roles. love to do on Broadway? Because presumably you, Broadway is the ultimate dream. Yeah? It is. It's everyone's ultimate dream. No, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> I would love to be Elphaba. Which is like every girl's dream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would love to be Sally Bowles. Alphabet rather than Glinda. Yeah. Okay. I like to be like the wicked. You want to be the wicked? I want to be green. You want to be green. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good look. It's a good look. Why not? Um, I would love to be Sally Bowles in Cabaret. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I have so many dream roles. <laughs> so many. 
and you're and you're singing them at 54 below i am which is awesome <laughs> and so when this is done you're going back and you're still training with your third troop that's the that's yes. the plan yeah um my voice teachers and everything um just continuing continuing studies <laughs> Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Well, thank and you so, for having it's what me. date is it? At Fifty Four Below. It's Wednesday, February tenth. Wednesday, February the tenth. So buy your tickets, Fifty Four Below, on Wednesday, February tenth, and catch Rachel there. And we will see you all for Live at Five tomorrow. Thank you for watching today. Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs>